I asked AI to write me a spooky podcast intro for Citizen Kane vs. celebrating its fifth season because I'm lazy, and it came up with this. The fifth season of Citizen Kane vs. features a competition between the greatest cinematic masterpieces. The podcast explores the dark and terrifying secrets of the silver screen in a thrilling way. Listeners can expect to be both enchanted and frightened while indulging in their favorite snacks. The podcast promises a bone-chilling journey and asks you to dim the lights and shut the blinds before joining it. Citizen Kane vs. is where terror reigns supreme. I think we'll keep the last sentence. We watch The Shining and The Haunting. Ah, the French champagne. Champagne, champagne. <laughs> the schlocky movie from this week may be the schlockiest film we've ever seen on this podcast. <laughs> I'm Mr. Pink. Mm-hmm. Says blue. So Miranda hasn't seen Reservoir Dog. <laughs> Those men's children are all identical clones of Adolf Hitler. Once they were men. Now they are land crabs. Amanda Bynes is a national treasure. There's like a bunch of other shit that happens in Driven. Is there? Secret Nazis. Yeah. S- secret Nazis. And Daddy Nazis. lost his eagle. Like, I hope so, no one from my family listens to this <laughs> podcast. <laughs> the season gain of the week is... Um, so, hi. If um, welcome, welcome back maybe to the podcast. If you're a longtime listener, um, are you okay? Long time, else? first time. Is everything, so. is everything all right? Should we, should we add a call-in feature to our... <laughs> yeah. you, want to, you want your number to go out? Yeah. No. Okay. No. 519. You can email us at citizenkanevs at gmail.com and we'll read your email. Have, we, yeah, have we ever received an email from anybody? That we email? never have. No. So seriously, okay. if you send an email to it... We'll, it will be read. We will read it. Yeah. So, like, maybe we should just start reading all the like generic emails that come from like, <laughs> "Hi, I'm Tanisha, and I saw on your on your stream that you're getting fewer views than you should be. I can uh, algorithmize your increase your yeah. weekly. Where do those even fucking come from? A are, bot? Is it a bot? But are they are they yeah. linked to like real services or what? Is it a scam? It's a scam. Can't it be both? I, yeah, maybe yeah. I get them through my website all the time. Yeah, being like I'm a Wix advisor and yeah. I can help you get more stuff. And I'm yeah. like, we get them with our with our theater company website as well. Is that is that real though? Like, if I were to sign yeah. up for this right now, no. How can Wix allow it, or is someone stealing my information from Wix? Wix doesn't care. Hardly anyone cares. Citizen Kane versus Wix dot com is this episode, everyone. Nice. So this season we are back at it, bigger than ever, badder than ever. Um, Probably better than like ever. We, yeah, probably, that, yeah, and that like we've gotten, yeah, that, we've gotten fatter. Yeah, we've gotten fatter, and, and the quality has gone down. Yeah, and we're like more lazy about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we're hoping that like you have too. We hope you're growing with us, um, and and like degrading with us. Mm. It, right, that's kind of like the the theme of the season. I prefer the term rotting, but degrading okay. also works. Yeah, 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 yeah. A general sense of degradation, decay. Yeah. Decay. Decay. decaying, decaying. Decay. This good. is our season of decay. <laughs> um. Yeah, there's no special. Uh, there's no special gimmick. We're just back um, because we like doing this. We like watching movies. We like talking about them, and uh, and we like hanging out with our friends. Holy shit! Which is you, I guess. Shut listener, up. dear oh, listener. Dan, I was up. talking about you two. Uh, oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. We're still friends. Yeah, Wait, man. No, yeah, you no had, man, but, but you didn't. But we, you didn't pick up on it when yeah. I said it. So, oh, like, yeah. but we feel. Dan said, I don't want to do the editing this season, which means we're one step away from just... Oh, no. no. But, like, really, really, though, you, no guys, you, guys, like, you guys like me, right? Yeah, man. We love you. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. We, of course super, we love you. Super tons. Yeah. You, you love me? We love you. you no, so you kind of stumbled over it the first time. Can you say it again? Yeah. Anyways, Jack. <laughs> so this week, we got back with... Uh, we're starting in, in Rocktober... And we wanted to get it going with some spoopy Spoopies. movies. Ooh. Rocktober sounds like we're watching just Dwayne the Rock Johnson films. I mean, that would have been a good theme. That would have been, been good. That would have been really good. That's for next season. Yeah. Ooh, teaser. Oh, teaser. Teaser. Fuck. That's your Thanos. Rocktober. Thanos what if teaser. we do Rock Vember? <laughs> And rock Sember, <laughs> rock Sember, rock January. Yeah, uh, and and in our in our typical fashion, we 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 actually scare quite easily as a group, so we don't like watching like genuinely scary movies. Yeah. Uh, so. Okay. Okay. Let's not lump the we here, especially Sean. You know what? Uh, two out two out of three. It's a majority. Can I just say, <laughs> the beginning of the haunting, I was very worried about us about the talking. 
<laughs> oh yeah. Well, well, yeah. We had it's, to get it's a, it's a coping mechanism. Honestly, I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But then we soon we soon kind of figured out that we wouldn't need it. <laughs> it wouldn't need it. It's no. not a scary yeah. movie. Um. So. Yeah, we, we have a couple pairings. We'll do one more uh, spoopy episode, even if it's shortly after Rocktober, um, that we we have in mind for you all. That's very funny. We'll announce that at the end of the episode. But um, so, yeah, this episode we did. Uh, the theme is two movies that begin with the and then another <laughs> verb that's a single syllable that ends with ing. And and has to do with people going to a big old building mm-hmm. uh, that has a dark history. Yeah. Right? That's the theme? Do yeah. I have that right? Yeah. I I think they're actually like linked <clears throat> thematically a lot closer than we anticipated. I think it's less to do with the name. Yeah. Although the the ing is definitely the the ing. The the, the, the ing part is pretty much yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's a part of it why we did it. It's a part of it. Right? It rolls off the tongue pretty well. Is there something else that you would add into there? No. Uh, that I would add into there? Like into the mix of like what the link is? I mean, is? family drama, ultimately, between the two films. The yeah, I guess I mean, it is family yeah. drama, yeah. But yeah. It, it is a... It's it, all about fam. It's always been about family, as we learned. It took everything in me to not make a Fast and Furious joke in that exact <laughs> moment. Before Fast and the Furious. Fast and the Furious should be, refer- should be making a joke about the haunting. I think that's also one thing we learned about both these movies, is that uh, everyone steals in, in cinema. Yeah. Yeah. Art, yeah. The fasting and the furiousing. Yeah. The furiously fasting. Ooh, yeah. Good, yeah. Good. They're like, oh, I can't eat that right oh, now. I'm so hungry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, trying to alter my metabolism. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the movies are The Shining uh, versus The Haunting. Oh, yeah. Ooh. I don't know. You looked at me. I, I had nothing. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Um. So these, I mean, they well, they, neither they're both kind of. I think they fit a similar genre too. Neither one of them, I think, is like fully a horror film. If we're being real, they're Only like two people die in each film. I would say that The Shining is absolutely a horror film. It's no, like a, yeah. it's like a psychological thrill, thriller slash horror. Yeah, yeah. A psychological definitely. thriller. No, the haunting, but is definitely, definitely not be a horror. Well. The haunting, it's, it's supposed, it's supposed to, be. to be a horror. Yeah. The you haunt- are correct. Yeah, yeah, it is supposed to be. Yeah, it fits the bill, and yet it is not. Right. <laughs> it's your kind of horror movie. Yeah, I like. I love. I love thrillers. So I. I. You know. To, Would you classify it as a thriller? Haunting? More than a horror. Yeah. I feel like The Haunting eh. is a yeah. horror movie the way that like Casper the Friendly Ghost is a horror movie. Yes, that is correct. Or like what Owen like, Wilson's... So it's not. It's just about it, ghosts? It, I, I, well, <laughs> kind of. I, I think that the intention behind The Haunting was was far more mature than the execution of it. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah. It felt like they were they were really trying for something that was unsettling and scary. Oh yeah, but it ended up feeling quite juvenile and and childish. Yeah, yeah like did they try and go? It, this probably has like a PG thirteen rating. Definitely, there's right? well, there, there's so little blood. There is a decapitation though, so that, that's yeah, really, but it's quick yeah, and there's no, blood, there's no blood, and you don't see him afterwards. Like it's, I I bet they tried to get it down. So they could have more people come see it. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. Which affects, which and then, if I maybe. remember, it was it was a pretty big box office hit. It must it? have been because as we said, we probably watched this on like the movie network growing yeah. up. Yeah. And the, if it was an R-rated film or something, they, those wouldn't show a lot of the time. Not during the daytime. Necessarily. I don't know. I watched happen? a lot of stuff on the movie network in the well, early 2000s. John, me too. Uh, Should we... Do you have fun facts? Uh, Stanley Kubrick was a monster to Shelley Duvall. Oh, that is fun. Yeah. So, okay, so yes. Now, was his did his reputation for being a a, a, a terror on set extend beyond Shelley Duvall and beyond oh, The Shining? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. He he like apart from Scientology is the reason to call Kidman. Was he a Scientologist? And, and, no, no, no. It, you, let me finish my words. Oh, let sorry. Me, let me Shut say up, Dan. my words, Stan. Okay, sorry. Apart from so he was a Scientologist. <sighs> Just Go to your me, room. Just tell me you love me again, Sean. We love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from Scientology, Kubrick is one of the main reasons Nicole Kidman and Tom Cruise break, broke up. 
Oh, oh, no. oh no! I want to hear that story. What Kubrick, about, how do you mean? Oh, because he did. He did what? Eyes wide shut. Eyes wide shut. And he and he and he kind of preyed upon the the faults that were already in in their marriage, and like pushed those cracks to to find nuance within the scenes between the two of them. That sounds like you're saying how he helped out Nicole Kidman a lot. Correct. Right. Yeah, probably so in the long run. sounds like a pretty solid <clears throat> dude. That's he's, true. He's I actually guess. a philanthropist, but he yeah. didn't he also. Like chain Shelley Duvall to a radiator. I I, in, I don't remember that one, but maybe. We'll look he, it up. Oh yeah, they left her chained up to something, and they were like, "We'll be back with the key," and then just fucked off and had lunch or something like and that. Ju- yeah. yeah, and just like really tried to get her to legitimately lose her mind on that film, so that yeah. she, she could give the performance that she gave. Nice. Yeah. It's it's insane. And she, and she never got over it. <laughs> he didn't do Last Tango in Paris. No. Okay, so that was a different horrible director. Who did that? Yes. Okay. That was that was. You're thinking of uh, Owen Wilson with Woody Allen. Wow. Midnight in Paris. No, I'm thinking of last. I'm thinking of the movie where the director encouraged Marlon Brando to actually penetrate his co- his co-star with like a a stick of butter or something. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Spy Kids. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure it was. Spy Kids, the, thumb uh, monsters, the, yeah. the sequel though. I don't think it was the original. The Return of Lava Girl or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Yeah, <laughs> that's definitely <laughs> the one with Marlon Brando and the stick of butter. Yeah. <sighs> uh, well, you must be pretty confused about what these movies are. So, so am I, or what we are, or, or <laughs> why this is. So yeah, I'll, I'll, before I even get to this, so. Yeah, if you're still listening to this and you don't know what this podcast is, essentially what we do is we take one movie that's considered more classic and one movie that's more uh, schlock. And, and <laughs> you just haven't even done this part yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Haven't done this part yet. <laughs> it's fine. Look, we said we're decaying. We set it up perfectly. It's true. I don't even know where I am right now. One classic, one schlock, and we ask ourselves honest, honestly, uh, honestly, honestly, and, and honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Help me finish it out now. Which, <clears throat> which is. Butter. 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 Which is better. So, um, and we have a little stupid way of doing that. And uh, it's just a fun way to pair two movies together that wouldn't normally be paired together and, like, try and break them down. Um, so, yeah. It, this week, this episode, because we don't do it every week, uh, is The Shining and The Haunting. Mm-hmm. And if you want to know about those movies, here's a little uh, themed intro, because this this podcast is kind of, like, still has, like, a boxing theme thing which is fun Jay, but we can do it it's kind of fun time. it's yeah. fun i like it. Go ding, i've been ding. listening through uh some of the the older episodes where we had that church thing going oh yeah that was fun that was fun Bring it was also fun we had the boxing and church thing <laughs> right, the, same the time. boxing I think the church. church thing was more specific to the movies we were watching but i think that if no we were... no but it carried like it carried through week to week to week we we, oh, we really like leaned into us being a church for a little bit i think church i think Cain. that's funny we, i think that we can revert to the church of cain all right bring it back a little bit so yep there you go. Church of Cain. Here's some intros. Maybe. Or Maybe. boxing. We'll see. Yeah. Boxing or church. You Love know. you. Here you go. Not you. In the red corner. Representing the classics. When a struggling father finally catches the break with a new job as the winter caretaker of the Overlook Hotel, he moves his wife, son, and his son's imaginary friend <laughs> in for the seat. It's sure to be a time to relax. Ah, weird twist! Sorry. Uh, spend some time together, and he can finally finish writing his number. Wait! The kid is seeing things, and daddy's not acting right. Mama's scared! Oh god, this place is actually a very bad place to be. Ah! Coming in at 146 minutes, starring Jack Nicholson, Shelley Duvall, and Scatman Crothers, The Shining. And in the blue corner. Representing the shock. When a struggling woman finally catches the break with a new job as a participant in a sleep study for insomniacs in a fancy gothic manor in upstate Virginia, she meets two whole other people that will also be a part of the study. The big twist they don't know about is that the tricky Dr. Mara is actually doing a study on fear, so... Ah! Baby faces! Sorry. Uh, so they aren't too happy when they find that out. Luckily, everyone keeps their cool and... No! Owen Wilson! Don't attack the painting of the guy, Owen! Oh, God, this place is actually a very bad place to be. Ah! Ah! Coming in at 125 minutes, starring Lily Taylor, Catherine Zeta-Jones, Liam Neeson, and Owen Wilson, sort of, The Haunty. (laughs) 
And there you have it. That is a slight bit more information about the two movies. Um, although, if you haven't seen them, you know what? Go, go, go watch them. Watch them. Watch. Them. Yeah. Watch these. These movies are movies. They are. And you watch them. Some movies we do aren't movies. This has happened. Yeah. Yeah. How, yeah. How did you, did you, did you get scared this week at all? Let's ask that question. Not, not even remotely. Like I not I even a little get bit. I scared with the haunting. I thought so too, and but. I just kept like, I just kept walking around a house. Yeah, nothing really happened, and I had a. I mean, we can. Should we go into the first Might round well. and then talk about it? I want to know if you got scared first. I didn't get scared, surprisingly, because I get scared very easily. Ask me tomorrow. I did, like I'll see how I sleep tonight. <laughs> After when, sleep, yeah. Yeah, once I'm like in a dark room. Yeah. Maybe. You'd be like the babies yeah, are looking the at me. Babies. All the all the little porcelain dolls I have in my room. <laughs> you have might, leering over they you might in start bed. Looking yeah. at me. Yeah. Um, or I might be afraid they will, but I was. I cruised through this. You'd be like, my fireplace is too scary now. Am I suddenly like a plantation owner or like what? You're whatever this person you're is. A, yeah. yeah, you're a, te- a textile manufacturer. That's better. That that's, gets me in less hot water, I guess. Okay, well, we can jump in. <clears throat> yeah. So we have three rounds in this here podcast. Um, and the first one of them is is sometimes the most important one of them. But honestly, whatever. So the first round <laughs> is... Story good? Oh. Nice. Well pushed. Yeah? You think we got that? I don't know. Who cares? We'll so, find out in post. <laughs> um <clears throat> so story. Well let's let's start with the haunting then. Uh, yeah, I just I had a real um logic issue with the haunting. Go on. Uh, well, I didn't really understand what the fuck was going on. You do struggle with logic. I do, and reasoning, and uh, language most of the time, and math, and social interaction, and relationships. Yeah, um, but watching movies, boy, and how thinking. Bathing. But <clears throat> my so my problem was I didn't understand. There, there was no the like the progression of things didn't make sense because I didn't really. I, okay, I didn't understand why anything was happening. Mm-hmm. And I didn't understand why, if this person, if this spirit has the power to manipulate all the stuff around this per this girl, why is that not like where we start? Like they were, they they didn't do a good job of explaining the the starting with like the subtle ghost appearances and then escalating to what we finally see right in the climax okay. of the movie. All right, so <clears throat> get more specific. What what's the first thing that made you go what? Uh, the first thing that made me, well, uh, well, most of the movie, the first thing that made me do that was probably when the dolls all turned their head on the, the, on the mantle. Right. And the, our lead, our hero is unfazed by it. Okay. And then she goes right to sleep as if nothing odd has happened. So what does make sense about that? Probably the fact that she was unfazed by the changing of heads on the mantle of statues and statue heads. Yeah, no, I completely agree. Oh, okay. Yeah. And it's, and it's a thing too, where like, it doesn't feel like it has like the correct sense of escalation. Like it keeps bringing itself down instead of like amping the energy up. So they have this moment where like something's banging on the doors that are locked and they run and they, they quickly close the other doors and lock them before it starts banging, trying to get in. And then they're like the next, it's them being like, Oh, well, Oh, I guess that noise was the pipes. And Dan, you were like, yeah, but what about the, the banging the, at the door? The banging and, of like and the door obviously rattling and shaking, shaking. and like p- trying and to cold be burst in. And, yeah, yeah, and the cold was, breath, the cold breath, and everyone just kind of goes, ah, oh, oh, must oh, have been yeah. the pipes, and it like brings itself back down. Yeah, instead of like if, for this movie to be like successful, it needs to like build on each well, one of those. Well, things, I think and so. Then also go somewhere. So what yeah. I think I think what they were trying to lean into was they've they've set up that uh, Doctor Marrow. Dr. Bone Marrow is my... I'm mm-hmm. assuming what his first name is. Dr. Yeah. Bone Marrow. Dr. Bone Marrow. Um, 
is because at one point when she's tripping out she's like oh what's that horrible smell oh what is that and mm. i was like okay so they're playing up that he's releasing like neuro gas like gas into the air that is oh. making people trip he's put stuff in their food when they're having dinner together right that I, I i was like i think that's what they're trying to do but it absolutely is not clear whatsoever i'm doing 60 percent of the work to make that theory right. well the problem with that i mean oh, yeah. that would make sense but jack as you pointed out they they pretty quickly abandoned the the experiment aspect of this of this story. Yeah, very quickly. Yeah, we don't see any any progression of that except for the the moment where he's left all of his research materials just out in the open for anybody to find in the middle of the. <laughs> he's dining just room. a bad. He's bad at his job. He's like recordings <laughs> that like totally expose what's going on. Yeah. Like it was so, it was so bad. It looked like he was trying to set a trap. Like it made no sense that he would leave that stuff unattended. Yeah, yeah. And this this movie is super guilty of setting things up. Um, so kind of be a production note too later of like, of setting things up that don't go anywhere. So they like, oh yeah, we'll have this hallway that's like water, and there's like these st- stacks of books in the water that are stepping stones across this hallway, and <laughs> right. and you're like, ooh, what's that gonna be? And it's like, oh, later when she's kind of running from a ghost, she's going to run across it. But, th- but that's exactly yeah, like, what, what the, it, it what felt the like. They were just trying to set up a, a series of potentially like eerie bits through the movie. And it didn't like none of yeah. it. And there was no rhyme or reason or logic to it. Like the carnival room or whatever the, the fun yeah, house. The car- room. Yeah. That was just to have a spooky thing happen later, right? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. But it's not even that spooky when it does come around. No. Well, it's just kind of stupid. Yeah, they just because yeah. they blow their wad on it. Because n- nothing is different about her being in that room except for the the pregnant apparition that she sees in the mirror. Yeah. But aside from that, she's like the room is the same, and yeah. so we we already have the moment of it being unsettling and eerie the first time they go through. It could have it. been any room with a mirror that that happened in. Yeah. And it, arguably that would have been more effective. Yeah. Than that for where 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 I uh, like I'm just gonna leap into the shining a little bit, assuming the audience has a bit of knowledge of it just based on the lore and, and the, the sure. imagery around it. Yeah. I think the shining does similar things where it sets up uh like it, it sets up uh, a figure coming in a deus ex machina and it sets uh, it, you know it sets up certain things that are common within the horror trope that the haunting kind of leans into mm. but it it quickly as soon as the opportunity for those those setups to pay off comes up mm. they murder those payoffs in it like immediately like him arriving to help danny at the end right. and immediately being axed give another example um let's see here come back to me it was your point. Though. I know, but like, <laughs> I I have another one, but I have to think about it. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. The Shining. I don't know, man. The Shining. I feel like. Oh the uh, the getaway vehicle the the um the snow cat the snow cat they lean into wow. you, you know how to get out of here this oh you just have to drive anyone who drives can drive a snow cat and you're like snow cat's gonna come in handy all right and then it's it, the alternator's right. ripped out before right. it can even be used and ultimately the snow cat that uh at um uh, scatman uh brings up the mountain scatman. Scatman. Yeah, yeah, uh, is used but uh, that's kind of a red herring i would say i just kept thinking about how upset that uh that that car, the mechanic is going to be when he doesn't get his fucking snow cat back. He's no, he's back. getting his snow cat back. How? How is? How does she's Shel- driving it down the gas station? Is probably the first thing you know. How does she know where to drop it off? He'll get. He'll get it back. I'm, I, I don't know, man. It's not really the thing, unless there's like a sign on the dashboard that says "property of." There is probably. S- you know what? There's probably a thing in a mechanic? dashboard that says. Well, like let's. A, you know, for his sake, I hope there was license Weird registration concern. of your snow cat, ma'am. Oh, well, I don't know where it is. <laughs> is that you? That's my, that's my Shelley Duvall. All right. Um, yeah, The Shining. I don't know. So I feel like The Shining. Someone will have to explain to me all the nuances of that story because it seemed uh, a little bit like the ending was one of those moments where they were going more for a vibe and less for a. a like a, a logical twist. I fully don't understand why she can see the visions at the end. I don't understand. Well, so this is the thing. So what yeah. exactly is mm. the story there? Is the, is the, 
we we know the story about the guy who killed his family. Yeah. Is the idea that so the house itself is possessed with is it the pop, house itself haunted has, with the ghosts yeah, of people has who tragedies it. that that it, uh, that are continually happening within it. Okay. But and, only and yet, people with the shining can can live those moments again. So then is it is the idea that the dad has the shining? Yeah, cuz it's set up with Scatman that uh that his his grandma had it right, so you know it's 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 genealogical. Um, so to me, it's he it's oh. the dad has, and that's why he like he drank to drown out that like that voice inside of him. And since he stopped drinking, he's just been miserable and going. And that's crazy. why he recognizes Lloyd. Who? Oh, uh, well, maybe because I was wondering because he recognizes the bartender. Yeah, but they, but there's also an implication that he has been there forever. I also I th- think yeah, the, that part is. I a, didn't really understand funny... that. Is he is he possessed by well, or somehow yeah, related I, I to he, that guy? I think you kind of have to read in that like the place also has its own like spirit and present and wants to like because it's on a itself it's on a, a native burial yeah, ground. It's on a, yeah. Yeah. Right. There's that whole thing. There's always native right. uh images on the walls and stuff like that throughout the whole movie. Yeah. But they but right but right away, as like from the time that he get they had, there's that line where he's like, Oh, it feels like I've been here before. Like yeah. they foreshadow it immediately. Yeah. So is he the reincarnated spirit of this guy? Is it is he like possessed with the spirit of this guy when he gets I, there? Like what I don't exactly know how is literal it? you're supposed to take that final shot. Because the, the 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 guy he meets in his vision is not him is the original murderer right. is not him, but he also says he's been here for forever. Is the idea then that you you become part of the house, the right? Yes. When maybe you that embrace yeah. the darkness of, right. of what has occurred there. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's more what I would interpret from it. I, I will say because so I've said like I've, I know this movie sort of like I knew exactly what was going to happen. I would say just from being alive. But I never sat down and watched it before, all the way through like this. Mm-hmm. There are parts of it that like read as like a bit like silly. I gotta say, I don't, I don't know how I feel about. Like it feels a bit um, simple for how long this movie is and how long it it draws us out. That it has these moments of like, of of him being like, oh, I'd sell my soul for a drink, and then it like cuts to a guy who's like this in a red like pointed tuxedo suit being like can yeah. i can i get you a drink sir? yeah he's going crazy yeah but see this is my question so so the so the bartender the bartender character i hear what you're Lloyd. saying i i have both hey. times i've watched this movie i've been underwhelmed by it and i i sometimes wonder if it's because how the performances just carry yeah, it yeah. I have, to so we'll get I mean, we'll get, get, we'll get that. to yeah, that yeah. but i i don't know that i entirely agree with sure, you the story is is flawed i will i will say like you have to you have to do some work for the shining, yeah. You also have to do some work for the haunting. Yeah. Well, I, well, I feel like the the haunting isn't even really work. Hey, okay, let's let's break down the premise of the haunting. Okay. Sure. So, so she is called to this house. Like we won't actually go like beat by beat, but the idea is that she's called to the house by the the, the spirit of the house. Sure. Uh, Something. Right? Uh, the Wolfman. Yeah. What was his name in the movie? Hugh Grant. No. Hugh, Hugh, uh, Ukraine. Hugh, Crane. Crane. Hugh Crane. The Ukraine. Hugh Crane. So yeah. the implication is that Hugh Crane made the phone call to and, the house. Or or the children? or But it was a man's voice. Was it? Because she thought that it was Liam Neeson. Oh, I guess so. Okay. So Hugh Crane, so Hugh Crane used to telephone. Or unless it was yeah. the, the male groundskeeper. But right. I think that they're trying to imply that it was the ghost. Calls her there because he is trying to re. So this is what I understand. If that's the implication, but he's trying to force her out of the house because mm-hmm. she's there to protect the spirits of the babies that the guy is haunting. Yeah, but he wants to impregnate her. But he wants to impregnate her to, More to perpetuate to get another wife. I to, guess. Well, to to have more babies because he loves the sound of babies. He loves babies, but he also kills the babies. Yeah. So, but then she realizes eventually that the 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 baby spirits need protecting. So yeah. she's willing to stay there as the guardian of the baby ghosts. Yes, the children, the children ghosts. Yes, the ghost kids. Yes, and then Hugh Grant. Yeah, uh-huh. decides that he no longer wants her there, and decides that he's going to haunt her out of the house. No, 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 he, 
no, he uh, he wants her there because he wants her to be his third wife. So then what was happening at the end? Okay, so first of all, yeah, maybe not first of all, but what what was happening at the end then when he when he has his big moment, he comes out of the, the painting. Yeah. And confronts her. I think he's going to absorb her. I think he's going to like... Coming to get her. He's coming, he's, he's to, coming get her. to get her. Yeah. Get her. We don't know what that means, okay. but he's coming to get her. And then what exactly did she do that de- she, de- that defeated she him? She inspired the children to work together to bring down the man who murdered well, them. Well, she brought him before the doors that says before right. these doors oh, you be yeah. judged. So they're gonna oh, be, oh, that's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So he got judged before them doors. Yeah, ignore what I said. My, I thought, uh, yeah. I didn't inspire any fucking kids. No. Stupid. I, I, I interpreted it deeper, deeper than the movie presented Way itself. Way deeper. <laughs> far, far deeper than was necessary. <laughs> so, Dan, what are you confused by? Uh, you know what? As we're as we're going through it now, I I see that is actually quite clear. So come back to me. <laughs> yeah, go to house house spoopy house spoopy house kill spoopy. Owen Wilson. Liam Neeson's wow. a bad scientist. Terrible scientist. Terrible scientist. Um, I was gonna say something else too, about the story. Uh, but I've lost it. So let's move on. Oh, why? Why are there groundskeepers there if no one lives there? Well, they gotta keep the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, but, and, but they don't live there. They live you, in town. You can't so, live in town. So, they said where you can't hear them scream. Right. So what? What are they? Is it a historical site? Like what is? What are they upkeeping? I don't understand. They're it was just really, paid. It was really a mistake not to have more scenes with those people on the daytime. You had Bruce Dern and that creepy lady, like. Why weren't they around? Why would you bring in those two extraneous <laughs> characters that we were like, oh, they're going to die. So they can have the payoff line and of then, city people or something. The end? What the fuck? Like, why? Well, didn't... well the, the, the no, point. No, but the, the assistants. Like, who? Oh, she right. got her eye hurt. Oh, those why two. Didn't they, oh. Why didn't more people die? Yeah, more people should have died. the house. Yeah, that, that oh, was yeah. it. Was the it was a weird it was a weird couple of pairings to watch two horror movies where like I think the body count was three in total. Like why why is it was Liam Neeson alive? No, it wasn't two per. It's two per. Oh, I guess right. Owen Wilson, Except, main character. Right. So there is, there is oh, four. She wasn't even killed by. It the was host. four she in total, did. but she. Uh, I wouldn't say she died. Like what? She her her death was actually like heroic and glorified and. No, yeah, I, she I was mean, Jesus. Yeah, I mean she was Jesus. Killed. Yeah, I want slaughter. And Jack right. Nicholson just dies. Yeah. Okay. So Doesn't it's count. it's it's two one, total. It's then. One per. Unless you count the flashbacks in The Shining. I don't. Okay. Fine. Great. You know that I don't. I do. So the haunting is based on a book. Correct. How well does anybody, either one of you, know the book? Not, not at even all. at all. Okay. Not not. Because I'm curious to know how how close to the source material. There's the like a '60s movie, movie that is very well known called right. The Haunting. Right. And then there's The Haunting of Hill House. Right, which I'm like we watched. It was pretty good. Okay, what yeah. s- same story? Same story. Uh, the the imagery of the the uh, woman in the red dress hanging from the rafters uh-huh. is identical. Like that that's that's straight out of the book because okay. it's used in Haunting of Hill House right. over right. and over. So again. this woman actually has the Shining. Correct. Yeah, she's yeah. she does have the Shining. You want to know something yeah. really really embarrassing? I didn't I didn't understand that Jack Nicholson had the Shining until this this conversation. Yeah, no, I never. Oh, really... neither did I. I it took but this th- but this watch through. Yeah, but that's so obviously what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got it. That's why he drank, stopping drinking. He's a bad person inherently. He yeah. So they really set him up as kind of like a piece of shit from the off the top. Right? Yeah. Okay. He's he's not a good father. No. Or husband. Right. Yeah. So, but why would why would Scatman Crothers? Like work at this hotel of all places. They pay him well. He's a good. Also, cook. that dude has The Shining and couldn't see Jack Nicholson coming with the axe. It, the it only shows you things that have already happened. I don't nope, know. Not man. true. He very clearly true. says you can see yeah. things that are going to happen. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Maybe well, he outshined him. Yeah, he got. Uh, it's true. If you've got The Shining, maybe you can't see The Shining uh, of the Shining person that who has The Shining. Except that's that's not true because Scatman knew. That the kid had the shining because he sensed the shining in the in the shiny. Well, they had a conversation about ice cream. Well, he knew to call him Doc because he saw he shined on the shiner. Well, cool. Yeah, he shined the kid, and he said, <laughs> and he said, he, he, in his mind, kid. he said, "You want some ice cream, Doc?" <laughs> Which was actually what he chose to shine to him. Right. Yep. Okay. Well, good. Yeah, I I have to say, like, I 
The thing I was surprised by, my last thought, I mean, you can have last thoughts too, because that was our bell that says we're done this round of fighting or whatever, that um, I, thought this movie, I thought this movie would have more nuance and how it like, yeah, the worship is over and how it like delivered these topics. And instead it was like pure exposition. Like I thought it was a bit like, I don't know. I don't know. A bit do funny we, at the beginning when they're like the sitting down for the job in yeah, the shining and the job interview when the guy's like, Oh, great. Crazy things happen here. Uh, you know, and guy got uh, cabin fever. Yeah. Anyway, that's Stephen King. Yeah, but that but that was my yeah, point. Th- but this movie had a serious foreshadowing problem because it talked about everything, so nothing came as a surprise. Yeah, and then it's the, two I've hours been here plus, before and you're like, the person gets got cabin fever. Like you, so, it's it's telling you what the whole movie is. So I, I think, think there's a better way to do that scene. That like that horror is secondary. That like the the the. the the level of horror that Kubrick is presenting you on the face is secondary to the the trauma story of living with an abusive husband and father, which which yeah. is encaps like so like it's it's all operating on the subtext for the entirety of the movie. Yeah, well, that part of it does well. Like yeah, like I that I think that's really wonderfully executed. But the fact that this is like a sit down with a magic man who's like you got the <laughs> shining kid. Yeah, I was like, what really? This is this is weird. Yeah, I I think the horror is in the horror is in the hi Ophelia. The horror is in the 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 conversations between Shelley Duvall and Jack Nicholson and Jack Nicholson like holding his son on his lap and saying I love you and I'd never do anything to harm you. Like yeah. that's the horror. Yeah, I'm not talking about Ugh. the horror. I'm just talking about like just straight up script work and like yeah. delivery of story. Right. You know what I mean? I think there's another way you could do it. That I don't know. I just thought like. It's not as cohesive as I thought it was going to be. That's all okay. I'm saying. It's still very nice. I okay, myself, but I thought it kind of. I thought it. I thought it exposed some of its thoughts a bit too early, and then maybe sit there for another, you know, hour and a half. Yeah, but the lo- the the long boring film is a Kubrick special. You ever seen uh, 2001: A Space Odyssey? Well, we're trying You're to set such it up. a luddite. We're trying to. <laughs> I've, ne- I've never I'm seen a it. luddite. I am not. <laughs> Well, when we get to our long episode, our long movie episode, yeah, that we're yeah. gonna make happen now because you said that because I've never seen Space Odyssey. I'm gonna Space have Odyssey. COVID that week, I think. Oh, we do so when we do. It's it's 2001: A Space Odyssey mm-hmm. versus the Snyder Cut. I'll watch that. I'll I would do that. Yeah, there you go. That has to be a weekend though. I don't know that we can do that. Yeah, no, we gotta sleep over and hold hands. That'd be fun a sleepover episode. Yeah, yeah, that would be yeah. so fun. Yeah, we guys, do a, it's one a.m. What are your thoughts right now? Oh my god, I'd actually love that. Okay, yeah, the round ended like twelve minutes ago. Yeah, we so uh, we'll take a little break here because uh, apparently there are ads. Um, are there ads? Is it ad yeah. season? Okay. Yeah, at the very case, there'll be a break, and we'll come back for round two. Brrrr. welcome back welcome back to the pod so uh let's press right on to our second round our fanciest of rounds some might say i don't know why they would say that but just some people say stuff so this is round two production good ding 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 i got you with that one eh? you did so Production. So the haunting is has really good production value. Okay, but here's my issue. Here's it my does. issue. It, it did until there, there, there it was, doesn't do anything with it. There was but it's some beautiful. There was some visual effects. Okay, so production design. I mean, the set, this, the, I mean set building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. I, I don't know oh, how much of that sets. was. Thank you for building sets. Incredible. Uh, thank you. The I, haunting. I, build I, your sets. I think a lot of that was also probably just like found location too. Like those hallways and stuff. I would be surprised yeah. if they built yeah, that. Maybe. I feel like I feel like they found a, a castle that looked really fucking cool, and they kind of like built around that. That's my guess. Yeah. Well, okay. Maybe. Yeah. 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 We didn't look it up. I also feel like some of the visual effects were well executed silly as they may be yeah the 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 eyes in the arches of the Ooh, house so very, very nice cool, cool. Yeah. well I, I thought the concept was ridiculous but it was executed it's cool because well. they look like bloodshot horrific eyes yeah, yeah, but, yeah. I, but but it was it was it was so silly that i feel like moments was like it? that you, is it was when silly we, for you oh yo, yeah oh yeah oh. I, didn't, I, I didn't understand what the fucking what why okay so okay if he wanted her hmm. was he trying to he was trying to scare her or was he trying to dominate her why was he yeah, he, was the trying, house? he was trying to dominate her he's a scary man right it just wasn't clear but i feel like moments like that 
is what is is where the film kind of veered into campy kind of Casper the friendly ghost territory. Where it's like, oh. and now <laughs> and yeah. now this happens. Well, it just it just felt like a, like a cheesy concept as opposed to like we've all seen we've all seen supernatural horror films done really well. Yeah, and usually less is more, right? It's it's the it's the um, the suggestion of the thing versus a house forming into a face. Yeah, but I kind of I kind of yeah. like that this movie was willing to go to that place. I yeah. just agree with you with the other part you were saying, which is that it never like. Again, it just never does anything with it or like links it to some sort of like a premise that you can go, oh, whoa. Yeah, the most is when it like pins right? her to the bed with the with the spikes. Yeah, closest. that that yeah. was cool. Yeah, that was cool. But all, all, all that stuff... really should have been the same scene. Yeah, it, it should have been, been the eyes it, there. Was, was that not the same? No. Scene? Oh, <laughs> yeah, because the movie weak. is yeah. really bad about deciding when it's product. Yeah, well, no, no, no. Not fully, it's most. It's pretty dumb. Really. It's it's fine. We'll, we'll see come voting time. Look, it's fine. But like, it should have been the same scene. It should have been uh, eyes, and then as the spikes come down, like a hand reaching out and pinning her, and like the eyes look more lascivious. Like it should have been the same thing, Be- and and linked to a goal, right? Yeah. And that would have been more clear. But the movie's really bad. It has these cool production things, but it doesn't link it to a continuing story that feels good. And it just lets them go again. And so he'll just be like smashing on the door, and their breath is cold, and then. Owen Wilson comes in, so it stops. And you're like, well, but why? And it's like, well, it's over. And you're like, but but why, though? And you're like, like it's well, Owen Wilson's here. Yeah. You go, okay. Like, it doesn't, you know? Oh, yeah. Owen, Owen I didn't mention this in story, but Owen Wilson's character does not need to exist. All he, all he is there for is to ask dumb questions and, and, like, die, I guess. Well, I would kind of, I would ask what, what, role or what purpose any of the characters really serve yeah, with the exception fair. of the hero the, yeah. to me the issue is actually Dr. that bone marrow I, there aren't enough people sure, it should be yeah, a there study needs to be a ton of, of, ton of people, people so we get murders left right die. and center yeah, yeah. We, we need more death and and someone should get almost killed the first night and the next night someone should die and everyone's yeah. freaked out and then the next night fucking and like fucking nine three people, people die should, yeah. Yeah, it should yeah. be madness yeah it should be a big it should be the cube um, yeah, should oh, be a little bit of the cube, but but this but this cute. is my point. It felt like the haunting is an apt name because it felt more like the person was just trying to beat like the ghost just was, trying to spoop, but just trying to spoop yeah, as yeah. opposed to as opposed to having any real that's fair goal or or motivation to do like I don't, I didn't know what the fuck was going on. Nope. Yeah, he can clearly manipulate the house and fucking make it dangerous and kill people in the house. Why not start there? Why is he starting with ooh? It's I'm gonna turn the temperature down, and fucking bang on the door. And, and this is the this is the kind of the thing. And it just has so many of that. And, and bringing it back to production though, with this of how they have the setups of them like exploring the hallways, and they find they're going by mirrors, and they realize, oh, this isn't a mirror. It's actually you can step through you can this. Step through. Twice, oh, cool. And okay. leads to the mirror room, and you go, what's that going to be about? And the movie's like, oh, nothing really. Nothing. They didn't even. Like, what the fuck? So did they write a script and they built the set for the script and then that script, they were like, oh, no, we can't, that, no, we can't do that one. We better do this script well, instead. This is, well, this is why I want to know how close to the source material the the Well, the no movie one knows. Is. It doesn't matter. Well, well okay. I'll, I'll read well, the book and then I'll do a book well, report Well, no, but the, but the movie, you watched House on Haunted Hill? Yeah. Okay. Wh- There's similar themes. It's, it's uh, if I recall correctly, I mean, it was years ago that have some that the haunting of hill house came out but mm. it haunting of hill house right yeah but it, it ultimately is about like the mother figure believing that she needs to like kill herself in the same way in order to protect the right. spirits that are being okay yeah. i mean that's that already is slightly more interesting than what we got oh the series is fantastic um i i felt like the the little baby ghosts and the shifting faces and the mantles and like the shocked faces on the mantle <laughs> like <laughs> verging on parody yeah. i thought it was it, so, got it was really really and the thing is you see that so early that that you there's no hope for it to be scary the first thing you see the first supernatural suggestion we get are baby faces are are baby faces followed by like a baby ghost like that 
yeah. that finds its way in through that the drapes. Is, on, is only the only looks good when it's under drapes or in like bedding. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. When they have it float in midair, it's like yeah. it is Casper at that point. I'll say again. To, yeah, it is. But just to like get back to this though, for when this came out, it holds 99. up. It holds up pretty fucking well. The CGI sure. is is like quite good like it you can it's doing the thing it wants to do when we yep. get to when we get to big ghost wolf man it's it's pretty rough it's but that, it's like, that climactic yeah, moment but it's like, like effective it's enough still, right it's like it's like it van helsing versus it does the job yeah it does the job but the, okay so but to me the job of a horror it's not movie scorpion king that's true to me the job of a horror movie is to be scary and when you show the thing so outright and it looks bad you yeah. have failed sure I, so i think that's what happened with this movie is that production made a setup for a for a horror movie mm. and at some point down the line some fucking studio exec actually made the decision that it's not going to be a horror film it's going to be some sort of ghost PG-13 thriller spoopy thing pg-13 yeah. spoopy thing right and so they changed it and probably those other two characters that left the house were supposed to die and so they contrived a reason, like for sure. And like she gets a she gets a clavichord and string in her. And eye, probably the yeah. groundskeeper too. Right. Like I'm sure yeah. it was supposed to be way more, and I that's wish. what it smells like. So they had all these effects, and it could have been really cool. And just instead, nothing happened. Like oh, uh, the statue grabs Liam Meeson, and you're like, what the fuck? And it pulls him into the water, and he's drowning. It spits up blood. Holy shit! And what happens then? Nothing. He, he, he lets gets, him go. He gets yeah. up, and he's like, he just made him go. Yeah, it, um, we got we got we got to we got to switch gears because The Shining I, I, is I, actually a really well produced movie. I just want to mention one more thing, and I'm gonna it's gonna lead to a sweet segue. Okay, I want to talk about the score of the haunting. Okay, of the haunting, the haunting, um, because also some some interesting choices being made for the score of this movie. They start like the moment, the first real music we hear, I think, save for like the opening shot. Is when she is uh, collecting the necklace from her her dead mother's bed, mm. and it feels like it is almost out of the Princess Bride, almost like romantic <laughs> fantasy. Sure, sure. And again, sets the sets the tone for a different movie. Like, well, what are the what's the credits song? I for, uh, the the end credit song was the the carnival music. Yeah. <laughs> Horrible. It, yeah, it it, fe- it feels like somebody who is like experimenting with horror as opposed to yeah. someone who understands it. Yeah. Unlike Ready Here it Comes, Great. Stanley Kubrick, who at least understands sound design, because that like the the sound bum, design bum, it, bum, it is a full on character in this movie. Bum, it bum. is yeah. It is it is so effective. I think yeah. Um, I mean, like top to tail, this movie is actually incredibly produced, like you said. Yeah. Um, it's but it's, the score was my way. I think it. some of the music's like a bit annoying, a bit aggressive. Sure. I think. But, look, look. I think sometimes this movie, it's like both refreshing and like dissonant. Where like, um, hmm. this doesn't smell like the kind of movie where like the composer is like watching the edit and then being like, all right, I'll make some stuff for that or right. whatever. It feels like they made music and they were like, here you go. And they put it over top of some shots of them painting through the house. And it has it has all these these um, musical uh, like strikes that don't match anything. Mm. Anyway, that's like kind of neat because you're like, why? Why What's pulling that? out of the pulling out of the typewriter in time with the big string hit? Oh, I thought that was awesome. Well, yeah, uh, but that's them. Do- that's what I'm saying. That's yeah, awesome. That's them, yeah. But then there are other times when it's just like moving around and the music would be like. <gasps> But it, but it's in contrast with like because only like maybe fifty fifty percent of the movie has a soundtrack behind it. The rest is dead silent except for speaking and like I don't know. I think it's said it's like playing with those contrasts, right? It's being like what is nothing and what is a hundred percent, and when can yeah. we when can we fire to both? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I just it, it, there were just times there were long dragging shots in this with music going all over the place that I was like, can just go. Like but just, the shots. Oh, but the shots. Some Jack, of those. Some, shots. some of those. Some, some of those shots. I mean, we got to keep some in mind. Shots are great. We got to keep in mind some that we're watching a movie from nineteen seventy something. Nineteen eighty. Nineteen. That's that's kind of ruins my point a little bit, but yeah, I, I mean, I think that for the shots. Well, no, I was hoping it was gonna be like seventy two or something. Just so, you know how like Alien is. It's it's 79. that. It's that is it seventy nine? Yeah, man. When was the Space Odyssey made? 
1967, something like that. So that sounds more impressive because what they're doing for the time they're doing it in is is just no. But Kubrick, Kubrick, the claustrophobia, are, are like the the shot. We, we have these wide open mountain. We have these wide open mountain shots, and then it it it's juxtaposed with we are in the car and Danny's literally leaning into the front seat so they can get the closest shot possible as they can between Shelley Duvall, Jack Nicholson, and and Danny, and they're all like hunched in, and then we. We get the we get the wide of the uh, of the estate, and you're you're shown how wide and expansive this is. But then again, you're brought into the room, which is large. But Do the sound effect of you changing between shots. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cool. The the room, yeah, yeah. which which is a large room, but you're focused only on the center of their dynamic. You're not you're not watching them go through this big room. You're watching them as they only and only them. You don't get to you don't get to focus on anything else. It is only them. He's he's playing with how close claustrophobic he can make every shot i didn't get that at all yeah if you're wondering at home by the way sean is rock hard right i am now. so hard right <laughs> yeah, now yeah can you just move your dick out of the way of the mic you're kind of blocking the sound there yeah it's, it's <laughs> disrupting our tech he's doing some amazing physical acting right now for the yeah. audience at home hey, uh, hey watch uh, it uh, hey, uh, get uh, out of here hey <laughs> there we go sorry guys um yeah I, I didn't get that that sense of claustrophobia at all sean's here on a rewatch just having a wonderful time with this movie mm. what was that when was the last time you saw this movie? It would have been 17. Okay. So it's very good. The production is very good. All the snowiness is great. The, 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 the setup shots, like we, we all kind of went, ooh, with the music over the, the initial shots of the Following driving. the axe. Following the following axe, axe was really axe. great. Axe following like, the car, getting amazing. so close to that car's bumper in the opening sequence, yeah, I, like that alone, I was like, oh, this is yeah, with the this... helicopter shot, yeah, yeah, crazy, yeah. well, like... well before drones, like, oh. but also like Shelley Duvall's costuming leapt out to me on this on my rewatch, mm-hmm. where everyone else, it, yeah, yeah, everyone else is dressed down in either like darks or like matted tones, uh-huh. and Shelley Duvall is constantly in like that bright yellow native american like coat Jackets. she was wearing yeah. she she has a lot of reds like bright reds well, the kids and wearing bright red, blues red, red and yeah too, yeah you know? but like but uh, the the one that leapt out to me in particular Danny's on the bed and the doctors you know fondling him or whatever and uh and they're all in matte and the room is pure white and Shelley Duvall is in shock red and and blue or so, i think is yeah, yeah, her costume that, but... so already even though the action is Danny and the doctor she's center and in brighter colors than everything around her. And so you're already like being trained to watch her reactions to things. Mm-hmm. I, it's just filmmaking on another level. Yeah. Yeah. Especially it's, for 1954. Yeah. For 1912, this movie <laughs> is fantastic. Uh, yeah. I know the round is over, but I'll just kind of double down on that. Yep. Like, like some of the cinematography was really incredible. This I, again, like, this sa- seems like another situation where they found a really great location and then were able to kind of like shoot around it. Yeah. Um, yep. That fucking. So I was very, I was kind of disappointed with the, the twins, the girls, just because <laughs> o- only because it what it felt a little like, I understand that they're not supposed to be twins, but they're, they're little girls, but if they had just been, able to be a little more in sync with their movements yeah no i, it would get, have been I get what you mean like yeah it would have been so much more effective i i, I thought at that moment like oh if this movie was made today the twins that just just that movement would be cg so that it could be a perfect yeah uh unison thing but then i was like oh but that would look like fucking crap no but but i i i thought it was interesting because i feel like that's what the it feels like that's what the scene, the moment wants. Yeah. And Kubrick is notorious for doing 600 takes of something until it's absolutely perfect. <laughs> yeah. So maybe it wasn't like, his how, intention. How much, how much bacon did Jack Nicholson eat in that shot? Yeah. You know? Yeah. How much, hey, Jack Nicholson, how much bacon did you eat during that scene? Hey, Jack, how much bacon no, did you eat? No, we're asking you, Jack Nicholson. Oh, um, uh, uh, two. Um, he ate. Two right, right from Jack Nicholson's mouth. Yeah, two pieces of bacon. I, I ate two pieces of bacon in the sea. I ate two pieces of bacon. <laughs> that's my Jack Nicholson. No, let's that's go to the good. next fucking round. So, um, no, shut up. Okay, Do you think, and this is really important. What are you gonna say? You're gonna be like, oh, it's this not, shot was good too. It's not really important. It well, shot well, right? 
I forgot my last point, so sure, let's go. Okay, great. So round Piece three. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> you can I say it later? I round guess. three. Acting. Good. Do you think do you think when there was the reveal of murder in the mirror, the audiences fucking lost their mind? Or do you think that that no. was no, that was given away way <laughs> that earlier? That was probably in the trailer on TV. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. On, on TV. On TV. Because it, fe- it feels like it's like a, <gasps> or it's supposed to be like a shock moment, but like. Back in ma- the days, but it's like, <gasps> not murder. Yeah. But I'm like, maybe it wasn't for me because I know what the red rum thing sure. is, but I wondered, I was like, Does it, did this get audiences when they came I don't out? know. I, I feel like his voice creepier the way he goes like red rum. Yeah, yeah. if that red wasn't rum. if that wasn't done in post and that was actually the kid doing it, that's that kid. I feel that like kid deserves his. a fucking Oscar. You want yeah. me to look it up? Sure. Or right. we talk about acting. I mean, he's a good place to start though. Either kid? way, that kid's fucking kid was stellar. Great. His like his like shocked face and stuff of seeing the girls and then being like murdered in the hallway and everything like that yeah. was all really great. Um, I would have loved if they just used his face. As a mold for the faces of the little porcelain statues mm. in the haunting, mm-hmm. the <gasps> the shock, <gasps> yeah, exactly. But they, they they did need to look more like that. You're right. Well, yeah, they 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 looked, it they they looked like they were out of a Disney movie in yeah. the haunting. Like it was oh! it was yeah it was that cartoonish. Yeah. Um. Anyways, acting. Yeah, it's it's rare that you come across a kid who who is that strong of a performer. Yeah. Um, I mean, what he has to do is like kind of be pretty stone faced. So I think it's written well also for sure a kid to perform. Sure. But even still, like kids suck at acting. So like this kid's pretty good. Kids suck at acting. Unless you're like Dakota Fanning or the kid from E.T. Those yeah, are the... six, six cents. Right. What? Six, and six cents. Oh, uh, yeah. What was it? Haley Joel Osmond? Yeah, something like that. He yeah. went, he something went, something went or like exactly that. Yeah. Super religious later in his life. Oh, really? I think that's why he left Two and a Half Men, or he like condemned the show for being yeah. sinful or some shit. Well, Anyways, yeah. Well, he got I can't all find weird. it. Okay, so what I what I really want to talk about though is what we think collectively, and it has to be a consensus about Jack Nicholson's performance in this movie. Uh, only a performance Jack Nicholson can make. Sure, but 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 what does that mean? I know that it was a very Jack Nicholson performance. Mm. I kind of felt like he he started halfway to the finish line. You know what I mean by that? I like, I feel but, like Jack Nicholson himself is when Jack yeah. Nicholson plays a straight like a straight man that that is him playing himself who is already halfway to crazy. Well, sure, maybe he has his own face, but but it it it, it confused me about or as to like whether the influence of the house kicked in immediately. Hmm. Because, oh, be, I see. Because the first scene we see is him in in the interview office at the house, and so. he well, well, yeah, and but there he's like pretty calm, cool, and collected. Yeah. And then, like, the next, like, from that point on, he is, like, verging on cartoonish. And I feel like mm. when he's when he's stalking Shelley Duvall up the stairs, that's when it's really effective and yeah. warranted because he's gotten to crazy. Yeah. But I feel like we, he kind of already starts there from, like, day mm. two. No, I think he's, he, but he's toying, uh. like, he's toying with it in the performance up till that point. He's toying with the like. Sure, he's all the way. He's all the way it, in. Right? Yeah. But I'm saying, like, even the hints of it, it it confused me because then I didn't realize. Okay, is is this just who this guy is? And am I supposed to like kind of hate him already, or is he already beginning to feel the effects of this house, whatever this is? Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I know what you're saying. It feels like it, it. Again, this is why I would I would argue this movie has a pacing issue. I think. And Sean can Sean's shaking his head. He's, he's cut. That's I, it. I think it does, okay. and I think it it's in its overall delivery. I think it lingers too long in the same energy. Mm. Mm. So when so when the ending comes, I'm like, all right, as opposed <laughs> to being like, oh, right. And that that's a pacing that, issue. That that's a good point. That's a I'm good sorry. Point. By the time we get to the climax, it does. I'm, I'm already I'm ahead of it. I, so, yes. so I, I guess yeah. it, that that comes into the the you know, they even have him wandering around that fucking 
labyrinth, the the hedge maze for too long. Yeah. Well, that I'm I, like, oh, all right, the, but the shots. Well, though. and and Sean, I mean, just from the from the very first on. time just, we, no, it's good. But the shots, the shots are so good. What the fuck? The shots are so good, but it, like you got to trim the fat. I hear what you're saying because yeah. like like we we're in we're living in that energy from the first time he's looking out the window at his wife and kid playing around and he's fucking just like with his eyes almost in the back of his head just staring at the window he's already there so you already you already know where he's at which means that everything else doesn't come as a surprise it doesn't build like it builds but yeah. it, but it kind of also drags its feet it oh, lives it in that world for a long fucking time mm. I'm it, with you Jack it needs it needs a more variety like okay, it, so, it, so his performance though his performance is very good yeah and I, I think it's more. I think it's more of a Kubrick issue. It's more of a direction issue and a story issue. Um, I'm happy to blame Stanley Kubrick. Yeah, Kubrick. Um, but I think like Nicholson is doing very good work. Like he does individual moments in this that yeah. are better than a lot of other things you'll see. Period. Like just so so good. And um, Shelley Duvall, and Shelley Duvall, being terrorized to the extent that she was, is putting in a performance where she has been terrorized. terrorized. But see, this is this is my this is my issue with the Shelley Duvall thing because because I know what's behind it. I'm yeah. taking nothing away from Shelley Duvall. No, she gave a beautiful, like an astounding performance. But it's yeah. it, it's hard to praise it, knowing that a lot of that is actually just the result of like intense it's, trauma. It's still her work. It's still her work on the screen, right? Like, I'm I'm again, yeah. not not taking anything away from her. She's yeah. incredible, but it's also just a really fucking sad tale. Especially yeah. when you see where she's like gotten to now and know that like some of that probably came from fucking from cubes. just being yeah, Kubricked. From being Kubricked. So what will we watch in the film, regardless of all that? is a wonderful performance from her as well. Like this, this movie is, I think very much carried by those performances. Yeah. Um, this movie and, 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 and Scatman. Scatman and Scatman and Crothers. Scatman Crothers. Got, got to get, gotta make sure it. it's actually, him. I think it's Scatman Cothers. I think there's, no, I think it's, it's Crothers. It's C O T H E R S. I think. I don't think so. C O T. Oh, maybe, maybe it's Crothers. 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 I'm pretty sure it was Crothers. Maybe I'm wrong. Scatman been, Crothers. It's yep, been known to happen. Was, it was him, right? Yep. We're uh, we're... Yep. Uh, Benjamin Sherman Crothers, known professionally as Scatman Crothers. Get the fuck out of here. American actor and musician. Known for playing Louis the Garbage Man on Chico and the Man. I will, I will say... No, 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 nobody, no. I will say <laughs> one, one of the me. moments in a, in a movie that is that is filled with iconic visuals, the one that actually stuck with me the most was just when he... <laughs> Has a shining vision in his own apartment. Oh, and his eyes, his yeah. like old man yeah. eyes. Yeah, Ooh, yeah. yeah. that yeah. was Very such good. a powerful moment, and you could like just like good, just power of acting. Yeah, to make an effect happen. Yeah, I love that. It was it was really really incredible. I thought that it, I also will will tip my cap to Kubrick momentarily for the the brief moment of levity that he brought to the movie. With the zoom out to reveal the posters of the naked women, oh, right? Yeah, for yeah. no other reason than just to show it. Yeah. Um. But yeah, that 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 one moment of him lying in bed and having that vision was really incredible. Phenom- yeah. So Catherine Zeta Jones. So the wow. uh, so wow. CZJ, as we call her. Uh, I think. She was good, honestly. Honestly, everyone in the movie did the role that was written for them. That's that's true. Uh, Owen Wilson kind of fucking. Owen sucks. Wilson sucks, but he did the role that he, was written he, for he him. He did the role. Yeah, the, he gave us five wows, wows, five wows. Now, wow. now I wondered five. one. The whole one was definitely movie. a rare, but, but it was a mix of a yeah, it was a yeah, wow, yeah, wow, yeah. 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 Okay, sure. I I did <laughs> wonder if those were written or improvised. <laughs> yeah, I know. Totally improvised. Yeah. No, that's his. That's his tell. That, yeah, that's right. his. I don't actually know my lines well, yeah, so I, I don't say, know. Wow. I don't know what I'm doing in this moment. So wow, yeah. Um, yeah, but I agree. I think I think the 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 failing of this movie is writing. The actors, I think, can only do so much with what they've got. Liam Neeson, not was, phoning it in. Yes, thanks. Which Liam. is a this, first this, on yeah, this, this program. This was before Taken. This was before Liam Neeson. This is, this gave is before up. Battleship, right? Uh, and Phantom Menace. It is. It is the same year as Phantom Menace. Oh, is it really? Uh, oh, so he was phoned in and for Phantom Menace because yeah. he was saving his energy for the haunting. This probably haunting. came out after the Phantom Menace. I assume they probably dropped this around Halloween. I don't know. Probably. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. yeah. I mean, everything. Do you know when Phantom Menace came out? Pretty sure May or June. Yeah, it was May. May nineteen ninety nine. 
Yeah. The haunting was ninety nine. Yeah. Oh, okay, that makes those vis- that makes the effects a little yeah. more yeah. impressive. Yeah. Okay. They're they're good. Um, yeah, they all do their jobs. Uh, lead gal, honestly, does a fine job. Mm-hmm. I wish she was in a proper horror movie. I feel like she would have done great in mm-hmm. that. Yeah. I would have liked to have seen, like, it's the thing is, I would have liked to have seen these actors in a horror film. Yeah. I would like to see Catherine Zeta-Jones in that time of her career. Doing a, like. Like a fucking running doing a, like, for your scream, life. Doing a, scream, I know what you did last summer. In yeah, doing one of, one of them. thing yeah, where a slasher. house is murdering people and the blood spills onto you. Like, I want to yeah. see her do that. I would, Owen Wilson is a good fish out of water <laughs> in that movie. It's a it's a gangbusters cast they've assembled yeah, for and, this film. And there should be... Bruce Ryan, Dern Bruce is Dern. in 30 seconds of this film there for should some be, reason. There should, but there should be fucking four to five other actors. Sean William Scott. Uh, Seth Rogen. Uh, no, Seth Rogen no ex- not 99. Not 99. Sean William Scott. Uh, uh, Stifler? Yeah, yeah, Stifler yeah. should be in here. Yeah, because 99 was American Pie, I think. He can't sleep because he likes he's always watching porn or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, right. Maybe a little uh, Seth Green action in there, maybe. A little Seth maybe, Green, not maybe bad. Seth not bad. Seth making a teen, was it, are we going teen horror land, or are we yeah. going like adult horror land? Yeah, I want... I want um, PG-13, yeah. I want, PG-13. I want Martin Lawrence. Martin okay. Lawrence? In there, Martin Lawrence is in it. Okay. Why right. is that one hard? Well, I don't know. That's I just, weird. I, I'm, try, I'm trying to get a sense of like what the vibe yeah, of the cast were movie? going for is because I said Seth Green, which doesn't really fit. Martin, I see Stifler being. I can see Stifler being Owen Wilson's character. This is how we fix it if it loses. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I guess we'll get to that. We have to yeah. re and add. Cast. Um, so like, yeah, the the acting is is fine. Functionary. It's just that they don't do is anything. That a word. It's, it is now. Functional. Okay. No. Nope. Pro, Functionary. Pro, Perfunctory. Functionary. Okay. Yeah. Just tell me you love me again. It's it's a dictionary, but exclusively about music between 1972 and 1976. The functionary. I like that. I see what what you did there. That was good. It's it's a dictionary about funk. Gotta get to the hotel. I'm different. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what to say about about the cast of. The haunting. I actually yeah. liked old uh, the old gal who was like doing her spooky old person speech. Not old, <laughs> right. just being like, uh, but that it, speech I'll be was in town so... after dark, after dark when, in, when, town. in town, in town. Nobody can hear you. I don't stay here. Town. I don't wait on you. I was like, where? The rest of the movie, I was like, where the fuck are you? Yeah. But the fact that they had her repeat that, like it was a speech that she had to give each person, was fucking comical. Yeah, and like I don't think intentionally comical. Yeah, she should have come back and like. Been, she should have been the killer. She like she painted the thing. She was like, "You're jealous. supposed to be here," or whatever. Or she or she's jealous. Maybe she wanted to be the wolf man's uh, bride, and she was little upset. Bitty. That, yeah, a little bitty. And instead, she was mad that Eleanor was getting. It some should of that. have done something. <laughs> yeah, sh- for something for sure. All right. Um, well, let's take a break. After this break, we will uh, decide the victor, and we will do a little bonus round of versing versusing the loser. See you then. All right, and we are back. We are going to now go through our three rounds, and we're going to decide which movie wins for each round, and whoever wins two of three is the movie that is the Citizen Kane of the week. So, uh, the first round. Story. The trickiest one for me. Um, yeah, I agree. Because I think I think that where The Shining does struggle, it's some story stuff for me, connected to pacing and stuff like that, and just some writing that I'm like, I think you could have done this better in this respect. Maybe I'm being a bit criti- critique fun, fun fact. Yeah. Stephen King yeah. hated The Shining so much that he made his own version in the 90s, and it's not a good movie. Oh, interesting. He... Like directed his own version. Uh, I'm not sure if he directed, but he like produced. He, he like produced it. He might have directed, but I'm not sure. He saw I'm this sure. and he was like, "No, oh, why did we not do that movie? The Shining versus The Shining." Yeah, well, um, we can throw it in another. I I I kind of agree. I feel like sometimes movies or sorry books don't necessarily translate the best to movies in terms of their narrative structure. And well, we got two books made into films here, right? I'm a. I feel like we we are different, but you you like structure in movies. 
Boy, do I. I also like to have there to be some kind of like... B- a ladder you can climb. Sure. I feel like there's a clear story... Clear is a wrong word. But there is a definite story arc in The Haunting. There's a clear beginning, middle, and end. Mm-hmm. And I feel like in The Shining, we don't clear get that as strong. much. Yeah, yeah. I, I took back clear. But... The, the, just, just now. <laughs> well, I took it back and then I kind of reused it and then I'm taking <laughs> it back again. My point is, The Shining does kind of feel like it meanders a little bit and like I'm not always totally clear on what exactly is going on. The visuals yeah. are really impressive. The production value is really high. They both meander in their story, though. That's the thing that I'm struggling with. Well, sure, you, Nothing sure. happens in The Haunting yeah. until an hour and a half into the film. Yeah, this is the thing that I'm I'm struggling with a lot. Um, Did we just watch two bad films? Is that what we're talking about right now? They, no, they, they no, they're both kind of fine, and The Shining's good, and The Haunting isn't bad. But you're also like, what? The Haunting Why? is not a five out of ten on IMDb. No, it's not. It's not a five. It's not. Are we are you are we trying to say that it's more than a five? Yeah. The I Haunting. Think, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. We I had do. very different experiences wow. in that film. Yeah. yeah I thought, wow. Wow. <laughs> so, Sean, who do, who's your vote for? For story. For story. Yeah. Shining. Daniel? I think that because of the execution alone i would go with the shining as well yeah i'm also shining yeah um i think they both have they both struggle a little bit they both struggle in places it's just it's just sorry that's my that's my i don't know what to do face it was a whole like physical thing yeah sean had a little seizure yeah i'm sorry i think it does um but very in very much different ways and to very much different degrees like it's it's a bit more than a nitpick with the shining for me to be honest but the haunting um it just doesn't like i said it doesn't build on things it doesn't go anywhere with it just goes back to this neutral energy every single time and then she dies yeah and it's just (laughs) for no reason yeah it just kind of doesn't know what to do with itself um yeah so shining so shining wins that round production um I know we talked about uh, The Shining having lots of... The, Sean says the shots, the shots. Oh, the shots. Um, I, I really quite love the visuals, in particular, of The Haunting. Sure, they're, they're, they're nice vis- vis- visuals. And I didn't always love the sound of The Shining. Ooh. Mm. Okay. So my vote oh. for this one is actually for... The Haunting? The Haunting. Ah, uh, Shining. I think it, it doesn't have to do with them all the time, but on their own... They, I think, really help make this movie watchable because you're like, oh. you're like, whoa, wow. The wonder when they they go into the the apartment and they're walking through the through the apartment, they see his room, and then in The Shining, and then and they go into the master bedroom, and they see the bathroom, and like, that oh, such a good shot. The shots, the, the so shots. Weird. Oh, but the wonder. But but the yeah, the shots is one ingredient, right? Yeah, and I mean the score is quite is quite effective in the shining mm-hmm. yeah I, that's a second ingredient i think i think uh, but I think a bit weird i think that the the set design of the haunting is far superior okay um and i mean it's i mean it's an it's cleaner in its cinematography. Oof! Ooh! Oh! Ooh. More, more, disagree. More, more polish is a better way. To put ooh! It. Also disagree. No. Well, you can disagree all you want. Yeah. I think that the that the intention behind the cinematography in The Shining is superior, but I think the at the just by virtue of it being an older a, a newer movie. With I know you love equipment. like new looks, but like right. I'm saying so. There's a polish to it. Polish is not the word I would use. What word would you use? Because you disagree with my Sheen, point. Sheen, maybe. I, don't know, like, I mean, whatever, man. <laughs> polish indicates that it is like it's rebuffed and it's new, but like I don't necessarily. That is, that is exactly what I'm talking. No, about. No, but I don't. I don't necessarily agree that like just because it is newer, it has a look that is better than something shot on old equipment. Well, I'm trying to. I'm trying to determine if it's better. What I'm saying right. is that there's a polish to it because it is a newer movie. Oh, so okay. It, oh, okay. So it's. It is. It is. 
it is cleaner in that it is, um, you know, the camera movements are smoother. Things are more symmetrical. The, the composition is tighter. Okay, no. Are you saying The Haunting has more symmetrical shots than The Shining? Because that is a that is not true. I think if we're talking about pure symmetry, not... No, dude. I was watching for this in those symmetrical shots because I wanted to see, and this is because I've been doing a lot of photo editing lately and, and having to get exact symmetry sure. in in the composition. And just by ver- just because of how they were shooting it, it, it was the, the intention, the vision behind the shot was a wide symmetrical shot, but it wasn't perfectly symmetrical. It was a little tilted. The sometimes. haunting was, was not shot symmetrically, man. Uh, <laughs> no way. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Agree viewers, to disagree. Viewers, listeners, yeah. you tell us what you think. Like all the viewers of the podcast, you, what, you what, what, you're watching us right now. You Jesus listen Christ. to these movies when and, you're when you're watching and, and smell for yourself. When yeah. you're watching the audio clip of this on YouTube, yeah, yeah, which we upload nine years from now. I think I think someone does it for us, don't they? Yeah. Automatic, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just, it's literally just under like our, our graphic. That's yeah, fine. Come back to me. I don't know about the fucking production. Come back to me. We'll all, right, all right, all right. Um, so, uh, well, this might seal it because this feels like the thing, like it, it, The Shining. It is. The, it shining is the Shining has a bunch of really I, good acting in it. I, yeah. I, I actually, yeah, I think it, it is The Shining, and I, yeah. I find for me, I, funnily <laughs> enough, I think, the, I think The Shining is a clear winner. For me, in spite of what Jack Nicholson is doing for like half of the movie, yeah, right. but but I don't even blame him for that. Even when he's, even if it doesn't feel like it totally serves the movie, he's still doing whatever it is very well. Yeah. At a, at a point, right? I'm sorry. I'm so, I'm so I'm sorry. sorry. Um. So do we all agree though? Shining, though. shining, 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 shining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shining, shining. Yeah, so shining. what's your production? Vote? So production. You know? I said, I, I said, I said. Look, yeah. I think the shining. Is, look, this is no discredit. The shining is as wonderful, has incredible shots. Yeah. Stuff that I go wow to. I just really loved, and I re- realized that I'd seen this movie before of the haunting. Yeah. And I remembered it because those visuals are so striking. They don't know what to do with them, but they, no. they. It is they, an aimless. They, they, they bumbled themselves into a. But they're a the only good reason movie. this movie can be a movie. Yeah, yeah, but the, the acting but, is just fine. But, and the story is, fine. but they're mess. also what make the movie silly. I think that they the because they don't use them well. Well, because whoever designed them did it did went in the wrong direction. That's what I feel like. I feel like like they are they are demonstrating that they have access to pretty high caliber visual effects. For for the time, yeah. But they just designed something that was wrong for the fucking for the movie that it, it looks like they're trying to make. I feel like no one really knew what to do outside of the Matrix in 1999 with the <clears throat> the technology that they had. Yeah. So who's your vote for, Dan? The Matrix. In, the Matrix. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. Honestly, 99, I rewatched it recently. It's, it's fucking for great. The yeah. Phantom Menace. Yeah, I mean, also, uh, also, well, also honestly, also, some, some good visuals. Well. I, I, I watched yeah. uh, the new Matrix movie a few months back. Oh, no. oh man, what a Oy. fucking piece of shit that Oy. is! It's yeah. real. I never did it. You should. I'm not. not. I like you should not so it. your vote is for? Who's your vote? It's for? probably The Shining. It has to be. The Sh- I think it has to be The Shining. Okay, great. So oh. with the uh, three out of three rounds the citizen kane of the week is shocker shocker fucking drum roll fucking good evening fire service hello this is dick halloran again i called a while ago about the folks at the overlook hotel oh yeah uh we tried to contact them several times by radio but they didn't answer now maybe they got their radio turned off or they're in a place where they can't hear it if you'd like me to i'll be glad to try them again later on Oh, that's very nice of you. I'll call you back later. Bye. The Shining. I'll save you a few minutes in editing. (laughs) I'll still find it. We can just we can just say drum roll now if we want. Yeah. I'll just I'll just hard cut you out. Make it easy. Put in a us. drum roll. Yeah. And then hard cut you back in. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't care. I was doing a witch's cackle for a little while there for you were spoopy, yeah. yeah. No, I mm-hmm. listened. I heard. And uh, I, I didn't listen. I know. Um, <laughs> so congratulations to the shining. So really quickly, congratulations, shining. You earned it. Let's, Susan Kane. Let's uh, versus let's years versus of people not not 
giving you the credit you deserve. Let's let's versus the loser here. We kind of got into this already. Yeah. No we, Owen Wilson. Let's go through what we did. Well, or he can be there, but this movie needs more people dying. It needs to more be people, more 75% people. scarier. Yeah. We need to not see any any kind of supernatural presence. Except for like a subtle suggestion of it for the first at least half the movie. It's like really tasteful moments nudes. of the statues being yeah, tasteful nudes. Really tasteful moments of the statues being in slightly different positions. The kids, but like not you yeah. they're not designed to look fucking funny. But also we need That's a murder. We need we need a near death the first night they're in the in the place. Like this the scary event moment. Yeah. And then we need a brutal murder yeah. that seems like an accident. On the second Correct. night, That's yeah. how you do this movie. and then the third night, we need a bloodbath. Yeah, we yeah. need. We're, everyone is freaking out, running around the hallways. Yeah, and, and that's where lost. we lose everyone but Catherine, Liam, and our main character. Yeah, maybe and maybe one more. And we maybe. need to add a bunch, a handful of cast like heavy hitters from the nineties. Sure, yeah, or fucking not. Wesley or... Snipes. I was just thinking Wesley, Wesley Snipes. Snipes. Uh, um. Yeah, little Tom Hanks. No, it's crazy. He's a hard he's, heavy hitter any time of his life. Yeah, but he's too much of a heavy. Also, hitter Also, Leslie that. Nielsen, not just Liam. Nielsen. Leslie Neal. Well, he's doing scary. Well, no, not yet. So he could yeah. be in this. Yeah, yeah. Anna I, Ferris. I also think in. Ter- <laughs> I also think in terms of the story, we just we need to really scale back the the child element of the of the movie way too many times i've been going follow us yeah Eleanor. like i need to save the children yeah yeah, yeah. like like, like yeah. acts all that shit like i like the fact that the dude wants her to like carry on his fucking seed and all that shit fine like and, let that be the and thing honestly, and honestly if not... it was if it was the spirit of the children it, like helping her find it but you don't see like floating babies and or like heads turning, like children's heads turning. Have it be stuff, a, like take little, a, take a play a, a note from the fucking Shining playbook, and let's see some like little fucking demon girls. Like let's see something that's, right. that is more unsettling than like yeah that floating porcelain to, dolls. Yeah, like, you don't yeah, have to do yeah. yeah. You can just actually do a kid. Sure. Yeah. And yeah. Kid's in, and yeah. who's like who's like duck Eleanor, and she ducks and she ducks, but someone else fucking dies. Yeah. Like it's kind of cool to see her. I, I like the idea of in a horror movie, there's someone there on like a different mission who realizes like, I know this is t- like terrifying, but I actually need to like help the spirits of these kids. That's like interesting yeah. to me. And the kids are helping her. So everyone else is fucking freaking out. And they think that she's weird because she's like, I need to go back into the house. And they're like, fuck you what? lady. That's actually fun. Pay out. We need an explosion. Could be good. We need. We need blow whoever, up the car. Whoever crashes blow through the gate the has to blow car. up the car. He can't. They're trying to break. They're trying to smash the rear wind windshield. They can't get it in time. A little spark shot. Yeah. And there I agree. goes Owen Wilson. And I also. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I also want to double back to your point about the the interesting kind of duality of everyone freaking out and her being kind of calm realizing kind of like what her mission like what her yeah. purpose in the whole thing is but i feel like the way that we make that more effective is you have to make the audience question whether or not she is actually crazy we know she's not because we see the yeah. ghosts yeah that she's seeing yeah and i feel like seeing the person hanging is one thing that that's enough for you to be like okay we're seeing it through her eyes for a second maybe maybe she is losing it but it's far too clear that she's actually experiencing those things yeah and and do the thing that Sean was saying that it's Liam Neeson that the plot behind this study right. is much more sort of malevolent. He's actually he actually does release gas the first night, which causes the near death accident. But like maybe there was some supernatural stuff going right. on. Yeah, you right. know. And he's like, I didn't paint that on the wall, and it's yeah. like, no, you no, no, he you did. absolutely did. Like yeah. he did. He it's or like, or your sub your manservant and 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 friend. Yeah, there. they they left the house. Yeah, they're but, clear. The thing you can smell it in this movie. Yeah, they like oh there's she, something there. Yeah, they left, but they're supposed to still be there, helping to conduct the spooky events and causing things to trigger. And then we find them fucking dead. Yeah, or something. Yeah, and like they've been dead the whole time. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like it's supposed they to died be on the road. They like had the car was turned back around to come back in, but like a law a tree fell on their car. Yeah, yeah. A better ending. She doesn't die. She realizes she has to stay in that house for her whole life to hold back the like malevolent spirit that is trapped within. Yes, agreed. I'd want to p- 
put a pin in that for one second and I has to like burn with the house or something or I don't want her to die. I think I, I think, think perpetual servitude. I would <laughs> like either one of those things. There is something a little more unsettling about her being stuck there, but I feel like if if we're going that route, then it can't be such a she can't be so okay with it. Because by the end of that, by, by the end of the right. movie right now, well, she is like fully on board with this. Like she has a purpose. Yeah, yeah, which which fits the character the way that it's been established. But I feel like if she's going to be stuck there, it can't be a thing that she like wholeheartedly wants to do. Right. It, it it's reluctant. But I want to put a pin in that for one second because, for sure, for sure. By the way, also, um, the uh, the her sister and shitty stepbrother should also be at the house. For some oh reason. yeah. Uh, and it it uh also the their kid should be there but the kid should be a cool kid that she ends up like taking care of Rick because they die that's a really good fucking point I kind of feel like they 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 could have used they could have worked the house into the will somehow instead of doing this like fucking experiment angle somehow like yeah. the death of the mother and the will has a part to play and why they end up in this haunted house yeah that it's actually about someone's looking. They're looking for a house to do a study in, and she she volunteers it, and her right. and her sister's like, "What the fuck? It's not your, it's our." Yeah, and she's like, that. "Well, it's we're already here," and they're like, "Oh," and there's like another tension. There's like another family tension going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. family. She says, "I've got this pin here, Daniel." Sorry, so I just want to talk for one second about <laughs> in the end or near oh, the shit. end of the movie, once she like really has realized what is going on and what her role in the whole thing is. They find her in her grandmother's, great-great-grandmother's bedroom in the house, and it is... It's her bedroom. Oh, no, it's her mom's bedroom. It, yeah, yeah, it is It is identical to her mom's bedroom yeah. in her apartment. Yeah. yeah well, it, are we Are we supposed to believe that she has redecorated that room? No, they, the ghosts made it that way. The ghosts made it that way prior to her arrival? To make or, her realize she was home. Is that the idea? Yeah. Oh, that's fucking stupid. That's really? really That's stupid. what they say. That be, is that what they said? When did yeah. they say that? They said, yeah, said shortly after she was in that room. Oh, the, she's the ghost, physically in the room. And they're we, like, we were probably hey, talking. Oh, probably. <laughs> you probably <Yeah>. were <laughs> fucking talking. <laughs> trying, to, trying to keep ourselves. The point is, there's a, this movie has a lot of potential. It should have. A lot of potential. A lot, we, we are writing a different movie right now. No, it's a movie I would. If we were doing rewatchability, I would probably say, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna watch that movie again. Really? It's not a bad movie. It is it is a. I don't want to watch The Shining a, again. Uh, what? I don't want to watch The Shining again. I wouldn't watch, watch The Shining again either. The Shining, I would. Yeah. I. Every, both times I've watched that movie, I've been like, I don't get why it's <sighs> so popular. I can see why maybe at the time it would have been so, something really <laughs> impressive, but yeah. I don't understand why it has withstood the test of time so so well. Uh, well, maybe it hasn't because I'm watching it for the first time all the way through, and I'm feeling. But a it, bit, but it has I'm like permeated has. pop culture yeah. in a way, yeah. That um, I feel like maybe isn't isn't warranted. It's uh, honestly, The Shining is something that people largely either hate or love. I think it became. Yeah, I can famous. see. I can see it being polarizing. Yeah, and I think it also became famous for moments. It right, it has. A, it, it does have a lot yeah, of iconic yeah. shots. Here's Johnny. It, every every four minutes, you're like, oh yeah, this shot. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah. But when you actually watch the whole thing, you're like, eh. for me, yeah, I liked it. But I was also like, okay. You do make a very good point about why can see why can she see the the ghost? It is yeah, I don't understand hole. that moment at all. Other yeah. than the house is being like, now everyone's got the shining. Yeah. yeah, it's shining her back. It's shining, it's shining, her, shining yeah. her back in time. That's it. To when the bear blew the guy on the bed, Jack. What, yeah. What is that, <laughs> but what is that about? Like, yeah, it kind, it kind of know. seemed to to get off the rails a little bit, and suddenly it's just like, and now sorry, it's never, just a haunted house. Sorry, never mind. Production to The Shining because <laughs> of the the bear blowy. Yeah. Yeah. Blow yeah. Bear with, BJ. The 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 bear blowy with the butt free fucking leopard print they were having PM. gay sex we don't oh. know that that was a, a man inside that bear suit the oh that is true that movies. is that is also true no that was that was a that was a fella's uh, body and ass jack this movie, jack knows i know just I know. <laughs> he does this dance. movie both has gay <laughs> people in it yeah <gasps> that's the real link both of them yeah I, isn't it weird how they they really fetishized the shit out of Catherine Zeta Jones and her bisexuality and that in the, or her Why character's bisexuality and then forget that? about it completely? They just do nothing <laughs> with it. They don't do they didn't do anything with anything. Yeah. yeah. Fucking well, hell. 
So anyway, they clearly built all these set things. Like someone's supposed to die on those winding staircases, but they were like, well, we don't have anyone to kill because yeah. we cut all those characters. So Liam right. just lives. And there's another stairway at the other... This is a door up there. They make right. it out. Okay. Yeah. Um, so him reaching for her to grab his hand to come down the <laughs> stairs while the stairs are disintegrating is really something. Um, so uh, there you, I'm going to say there you have. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. I'm going to say that right. There we you have, have it. it. We so have it. congratulations, The Shining. Somehow you squeaked your way across the finish line there, and you won. No doubt about it. It was a clean sweep. Uh, a barely, really, no, really was, tight no, race. There was one vote that didn't. You go barely right. made it through, Fair but enough. you just, you just got it. The Shining. You just, you just got it. The Shining. Kubrick, uh, keep, keep, keep. Yeah, at it, someday buddy. you'll make it, buddy. Kubrick is, is, he, is he still alive? No. Yeah, good. Exactly. He can fucking eat died a dick. in 2000. He died shortly after The Haunting was made. Oh. <gasps> Coincidence. He didn't make it to 2001. No. Ooh, what I don't a think bitch. so. I think guys watch out. What a little time. bitch. <laughs> uh, so anyway, next uh, episode, we're still going to do another spoopy sort of app. Um, That'll air in December. Yeah. No, <laughs> in no, rock we'll, December. No, we'll, we'll make it happen. We'll figure it out. So, um, and we have a very stupid pairing for you. So we're going to do the classic. Uh, Hitchcock. Hitchcock of the birds versus insert director name here. <laughs> Ziz. The bees. Is it the bees or is it bees? It's, I think it's the bees. So we have the birds versus the bees. Yeah. I love that so much. It's a great pairing. It is it's, a great it's pairing. It's one of our most inspired, I would say. Yeah. It's, right up you there know, with click and don't click. <laughs> click and don't coming click. Next. I didn't have that. We have to add that to our list. We didn't have that. Oh, that's the one I'm Neither are classics. About. I don't know. Yeah. Click, click. click is a classic. No, click. it's not. Click is an Adam Sandler no, classic. No, it's atrocious. It's like 20 it's years old. It's heartfelt. It's horrific. It is not. I, I, was, I, I email seen us it if you want to see Click versus Don't Click. Yeah. If you don't know what Don't Click is, that makes sense. If you're a Click head, click yes. Mm. Click subscribe. And there it is. Mm. Do we have a thing to subscribe to? The, the podcast feed. Make us a Patreon. Find us on X, formerly known as Twitter, where I don't go on anymore. Yeah. See, we do an OnlyFans. That we should do OnlyFans. Fuck a Patreon. You, yeah, you don't have to just get nude on OnlyFans. You can just. I, like... well, I want to though. Just, right. Can, okay. So every. Stuff. Yeah. No, no, I want to only do bottomless. Just, sure, bo- just, just balls and buttholes. <laughs> okay. You like edit photos together of me topless and you bottomless together yeah, yeah. as the only yeah, my, thing. Yeah, my dick on your abs. <laughs> I mean, the abs are... And with up. that... Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, let's sign off today all doing our best impression of Scatman Crothers. Take it away, fellas. Gotta get I'm to going up the mountain and I'm driving this up. Gotta get gonna be a fun time. Murder that boy. Gonna stop this baby from murdering that boy.